another one that they, whatever. <laughs> but they avoid the King James like the plague. I wonder why. And they avoid saying the name of Jesus. I wonder why. Some of the preachers uh, that are in your word faith will get, you know, it's like a checklist. They, let's put a Jesus here and Jesus there. I got four of them out. Oh, okay, now you can go into that heresy that the word faith teaches. That we are gods. Which is actually what what actually monitor, uh, excuse me, what uh, mirrors, what the, uh, what the, um, I'll get it out in a minute. The Masons believe that the skull and bones, 322. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll be back at the station break. Now, why would you think that's bad? They probably did our people. <laughs> made us disconnect. They say the things that made us great are politically incorrect. They give illegal aliens more rights than you and I, while they hold transparent meetings behind Bro, I, I don't know. You know, I can only imagine. I'm not kidding you. Family, I'm not kidding you. On a farm six miles outside this gambling town, Jason Chamberlain looks over a flock of 50 smelly sheep, many of them possessing partially human livers, hearts, brains, and other organs. The University of Nevada Reno researcher talks, and I'm going to read. I'm going to read this. I'm reading it to you. Normally, I don't read it, but I'm going to read it. Talks matter of factly, factly. Uh, about his plans to euthanize one of the pregnant sheep in a nearby lab. He can't wait to examine the effects of the human cells he had injected in the fetus brain about two months ago. Are these people sick or what? You know, I hadn't really, until I read it myself here really out loud, and these people are serious. Biological mixing of the species. I quote, But the biological commingling of animals and humans is now evolving into even more exotic and unsettling mixes of species, evoking the Greek myth of the monstrous Chimrea, Chimrea which was part lion, part goat, and part serpent. I really hate saying this, family, but did I not say several weeks ago, that the mythological gods were real. They were the fallen angels of the Old Testament that refused to be servants of man and to help man, but to be gods to man, literally. And there were giants in those days of mythology. Well, imagine that. In Genesis 6-4, it says the same thing. They were Nephilim. Hercules, Nephilim. And did they not have animals that were genetically altered? Now, does that notion sound out of whack? Because if they report this officially in public, here is their little secret. Their secret is they're already 50, 100 years ahead of this. They're way, way ahead of this. This means to me that they already have genetically altered animals that are surviving and operating. So do you think that we've entered as in the days of Noah again? You think that we are in the days of Noah? Just like the Bible says, So let's not be afraid. Stand up with Jesus Christ and we'll face this Luciferian conspiracy. We'll be back at the station break. Lord Jesus, would you help me? I need you. Brent, are you not aware of what's going on outside? Ever suffer from ex... This... It's not through God. This is DNA injected human stem cells to make paralyzed mice walk. <clears throat> what Satan can't do in miracles, he does in technology. That's a strategy. Now I'm getting to the point here in a minute. Particularly 
worrisome to some scientists of the nightmare scenarios that would rise from the mixing of brain cells. Because what if a human mind somehow got trapped inside a sheep's head? Ooh. Bye. And the idea that human neuronal cells might participate in higher order brain functions in a non-human animal, <laughs> however unlikely that may be, raises concerns that need to be considered. Well, here we go. Check this out. I kept reading, and we've got mice with human brains. How about humans with mice brains? <laughs> anyway, mice with human brains. I quote, In January, I read, an informal ethics committee at Stanford University <laughs> endorsed a proposal to create mice with brains nearly completely made of human brain cells. Why the bell? It went off my head. I recall distinctly a little dot. The committee of the 300 is Illuminati copper-based genetic material in their bloodstream. And the Committee of the 300 is headed by Queen Elizabeth II, who is the sovereign most order of the garter, or some combination of words of that nature, who bows down to the Black Pope, actually. But she's the head mason of the world, and she's head of the Committee of the 300, or was, or I don't know whether where they are now, probably Prince William. I, I don't know what's going on over there now. She stepped down or supposedly did or whatever. I don't know what they're up to. Who cares? So the Committee of the 300 is fed information for a very simple way of explaining it by the round table. The round table consists of the Trilateral Commission formed in 1973 by... Brzezinski, Kissinger, Bush, all these yahoos, and was Council of Foreign Relations. Council of Foreign Relations is the Illuminati in the United States. The United Nations, the Bilderberg Group, Ding Ding, the Club of Rome, Population Control, Kill Everybody, Club of Rome, and the Royal Institute of International Affairs, RWIA, which is the equivalent to the Council of Foreign Relations in the United States. The RWIA is its equivalent in England, in the, the European, in England, yes. Okay, you got that. The round table, they have the hierarchy, they sit around some table or whatever the heck, I don't know what, and they yak, 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 and they talk about all the way they're going to control our lives. They're lit by Satan. Now, check this out. The round table of which one of the members, as I said before, is the Royal Institute of International Affairs. Underneath that Illuminati organization is Tavistock. Tavistock goes back, trained Hitler. Tavistock is kind of a think tank or behavioral research type of organization. It goes back to 1921. Tavistock has within its organization various universities, think tanks, Brookings Institute, Hudson Institute, Wharton School of Economics, National Training Laboratories, IPS back in 19, what, where's my glasses? Ha <laughs> ha, I need the glasses, I need stem cell eyes. IPS 1963, MIT, oh MIT, oh yeah, MIT does Letters for bombs come to mind, organizers. Anyway, Kissinger is part of it with a star group, handles insurance, banking, real estate, high tech entertainment, Rand Corporation, near named after Ann Rand, Club of Rome, all in Tavistock, I'm still Tavistock, CIA, part of Rand Corporation, MK Ultra. Oh, what do I see here? I see Stanford Research Institute. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Look at there, Stanford is part of Tavistock. Tavistock is part of the Royal Institute of International Affairs, which is part of the round table, which, which funnels information to the Committee of the 300. Well, imagine that. Well, you have Harvard, social psychiatry, Princeton, oh you know, yeah, Princeton, 
does Ron Paul come to mind anyway? Who's a Mason? Yeah. Prison Institute for Social Research. Aspen Institute for Humanistic Studies. Oh, goodness, family, I can go on and on. Did you know that the ADL, well, I'm thinking about it, the ADL, Anti-Defamation League, which they make you think is Jewish, oh, you'd be surprised by my ADL, is linked up to MI6, which is really close to the Committee of the 300, by the way. Imagine that. You got Permadex, National, U.S. National Reconnaissance Office, part of the Committee of the 300. Oh, boy. And the International Institute for Strategic Studies. Did I say that too fast? No. Bilderberg with MI6. ADL, MI6. All connect. Rhodes Scholars, Oxford. Way up there with the round table. Rhodes Scholarship Program. If they're a Rhodes Scholar, they're a part of the globalist agenda. Every cotton picking one of them. They don't pick just anybody for Rhodes Scholarships. Billy Bob Clinton was. He was a Rhodes Scholar. Several others were Rhodes Scholars that worked for the agenda. And some of them believe they're on our side. And they don't believe they try to make us think they're on our side, but they have other agendas. Oh, I forgot the Heritage Foundation part of Tavistock. You see how this works. Click, click, ding, ding. That's how that works. you got to know all this is connected. Very much connected. That kind of blew me away a little bit. Is that obvious? <coughs> Mice with human brains. Can you imagine? And they give you all the good parts about it, of course. To pull you in. Like to do the bear chip. My, my, my. Harvesting human organs from sheep. I guess it will save the human trafficking and organ trafficking they do in, in the Balkans. That would certainly save a lot, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I could tell you some stories. I may do that this week. I say may. It depends on the time. I'll tell you all about the human trafficking they do in the Balkans, through Serbia, Albania, Kosovo. It is massive. Massive. And very lucrative. A very, very lucrative business. Besides trafficking children. They traffic organs. And I'm not talking the kind you play in churches either. Well, what do I have in front of me? The ADL is training police departments across the country. Why? Did you all know that? Y'all, did y'all know that? <coughs> did you know the ADL trains many, many police departments? Why would they do that? A an ADL expert participated in the first annual Urban Shield training exercise in Oakland, California. SWAT teams and had an exercise. Two-day law enforcement training held in Utah, ADL. U.S. military investigators trained. He conducted the training at Fort Leonard Wood United States Army basic training post in Missouri Ozarks. Oh, the Ozarks! Oh, you mean the, <laughs> you mean the ADL and the the, new, the Illuminati uh, black booted uh, whatever is in the Ozarks, Missouri. Uh oh, Ozarks have got Illuminati there. Watch out. I'll be back at the station. Law enforcement. Wisconsin. NYPD. Idaho. Wyoming. Wyoming. Arizona, Las Vegas, Customs, Immigration Customs Enforcement Command Staff, Ooh. Missouri, Cape Cod, San Diego, 